everyone, and welcome back to The Chronic Corner. I'm Lauren, and this episode is all about nutrient imbalances, which are commonly associated in the dysautonomia and POTS community and with POTS-like symptoms. We wanted to make a quick video just to go over the basics of what you should test for when you're newly diagnosed with dysautonomia. Now, the following list is actually suggested from Dr. Svetlana Blitschdin, who is one of the top dysautonomia physicians and founded the Dysautonomia Clinic in Buffalo, New York. So she tends to test for B1, B6, B9, and B12, vitamin D, vitamin E, and your homocysteine levels. In addition to those kind of vitamins, she tests for sodium chloride, your iron levels, choline, blood glucose, and gluten. Now again, everyone is different, and if you aren't able to get into a dysautonomia specialist or physician, this might be an interesting conversation to have with your primary care to see, can you run these tests? Can you see, are these out of balance? And can you work on getting them back in control? Sometimes, you know, your fatigue or other symptoms can be explained by just a vitamin deficiency. Now, of course, with POTS and dysautonomia, things are very, very complicated and you'd need to talk to your doctor first, but it might be an interesting path to kind of try. And if you have experienced nutrient imbalances, we would love to hear from you in the comments below what you've experienced, what helped, what hasn't. And for more things dysautonomia and chronic illness, visit dynet.org. Thank you so much for watching.